Hi, I'm Steve Friedman with Rockstar Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to make an initiative and hit point tracker in Excel for Dungeons and Dragons that takes just a few seconds to build and will make your life a whole lot easier as a dungeon master. Thank you to YouTube commenter Radlock for asking about this. Also, I have a new class out on LinkedIn Learning called Excel for Accounting. More about that at the end of the video. In my D&D game, tracking initiative and hit points has always been a pain. When it's time to roll initiative, my players yell a bunch of numbers at me and I'm rushing to write them down either in a notebook or slips of paper, then put them in the right order along with any enemies. Then, during combat, I have to write down and cross out a bunch of numbers to keep track of how many hit points everyone has while doing math in my head. It's easy to make a mistake, and when I'm focusing on numbers and not focusing on the role-playing, that's the whole point of the game. So here's how to offload that to Excel. Start by bolding your header row and label your columns init character slash monster AC max HP current HP damage and error. Let's go ahead and center these and double click between the columns here to automatically change the sizes. Then in column H here to the right of the error column, just put a D and then we're going to resize this column to be smaller like this and then copy the entire column and copy and paste the column like 50 times or so. And then you want to select all and go here to where it says sort and filter and do filter. And now you've got a bunch of these little arrows in the header row. Now in the damage column here, enter the formula equals minus sum parenthesis and then go over here to the first D column and make sure you skip over the error column and then just hold down shift and hit the right arrow until you get to the last column that has an arrow in it here and then close parenthesis. And maybe we should make these columns a little bit wider so they're easier to read. Then in the current HP column, enter the formula equals and then you want to go over to D2 for the max HP here, plus F2 for the damage. Then you want to fill these formulas down for about 20 rows or so by just highlighting here and hitting Control D, or that would be Command D on a Mac. Lastly, you want to click here in cell H2 just below the header and to the right of the error column and go to View, and then under Freeze Panes, drop down here, select freeze panes. This will make it so you can always see the information you need. This is pretty much done except for the error column, but I'll come back to that after I show you how the tracker works. So first you want to enter your player's names, AC, and maximum hit points. Uh, you'll probably want to save a copy of this spreadsheet with that already entered, so you don't have to redo it every time. So here I've entered this information for my characters, and you see that the there's no damage here yet, and the current hit points is going to match the maximum hit points. And just to make things a little easier to read, I'm going to select all and go to the home menu and click here on the comma style, and then click here to reduce the decimal points twice and that way it makes the zeros appear as dashes. And when you're preparing for a session, you may also want to enter the information for any monsters that you know your players will be encountering. So here I've done that, and the order you enter things in doesn't really matter. When it's time to roll initiative, all you have to do is enter everyone's initiative number here in the initiative column. Once you've done that, you click on this arrow here in the at the top of the initiative column and you select sort largest to smallest. And now you put everyone into initiative order. And then whenever anyone takes damage, 
All you have to do is just enter the amount of damage here in one of these D columns and it's automatically going to track that here on your tracker. If they take more damage, you just add that to another column and it will keep adding it up and tell you both the amount of damage they've taken and their current hit points. And if they get healed, you can just enter the amount of healing as a negative number and it will keep track of that as well. This works for both your players and your monsters. Now this is pretty good, but there's still one problem. The D&D rules say that you should never go below zero hit points or above your maximum hit points unless you have temporary hit points. So that's where this error column comes in. We want to put the formula equals max parenthesis, and then select D2 comma E2, and close the parenthesis, minus D2. And what this is doing is looking at D2 and E2, and if E2 is larger, it's telling you the difference, and otherwise it's telling you D2 minus D2, which is just going to be zero. And now we want to continue this formula, plus min parenthesis E2 comma zero, close parenthesis. And now this part of the formula is checking if E2 is below zero, and if so, it's telling you by how much, and otherwise it's just giving you a zero. And we fill this down. You can just double click on the green box here to do that, or the fill handle is its official name. And now if you take more damage than you actually have, it shows up here in this error column. To fix that, all you have to do is enter the number that's in the error column in one of these D columns here. So you see it's telling us we have an error of minus 5. So if I just put minus 5, it's going to change her current hit points to 0. By the same token, if she were to receive more healing than her max hit points, so let's put a negative 25 here. This error here is 7. All we have to do is put a 7 there and it will fix it. If you want to be even fancier, you can also add some conditional formatting to make this easier to notice. Select the top cell with the formula here in G2, and then on the home ribbon go to conditional formatting, and highlight cell rules and greater than. If it's greater than zero, do a light red fill, OK, and then go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules again, and do less than. And if it's less than zero, light red fill, OK. Double click on the fill handle here to fill down that formatting. If we were to do more damage than he has, the error is highlighted, and we can just correct it. And just note, it doesn't really matter which column you put the damage or the healing in here, as long as it's in the right row, the formula is going to pick it up. And also, if he were to receive more healing than his max hit points, it's going to show up in the error column here, and we know we just have to enter a 6 to fix that. So that's how to create a super quick initiative and hit point tracker that will make your life easier as a dungeon master. Please like and subscribe, and a special thanks to composer Michael Gordon Shapiro for writing my new theme music. Also thanks to my subscribers. I promised if I passed a thousand subs, I'd do a video on how to use Excel to make dice mosaic art with zero artistic talent. You guys blew past that to 1.25k, so watch for that video coming soon. And be sure to check out my Excel for Accounting class on LinkedIn Learning. 19,000 people have taken it so far, and it has a 4.7 out of 5 star rating. Even if you're not an accountant, it's a great way to learn about Excel topics like references, XLOOKUP, pivot tables, if, and some if, all in less than 70 minutes. And check out rockstarexcel.com where you can sign up for our newsletter for tips on using Excel to make your life easier, and book a free consultation to learn how we can save you time and money. Thanks for watching, and please check out some of my other videos so I can help make you an Excel rock star.